Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here. Welcome back to another episode here of our Let's Play series. Playing in the 1.9 snapshot, still in 47C. Uh, and we're back over at our uh, original base and I thought we'd come over here for a change of uh, scenery and do a little bit of uh, work on this area. So um, those who've been watching the series for a while remember we've got this which is our sort of way down to all of our um, spawners so I thought it would be a cool way of getting down to the zombie spawner and that sort of thing and we've got the graves here because poor horsey he died so early on um, suffocated in a wall and yeah this is where he's buried so uh, we're gonna make this into a churchyard so I thought we'd um, have a go at that today so not quite sure. I, I was thinking of doing a really big grand church, but I don't think it will really fit into this area. So we're going to do something a little bit smaller. And I've I did have a path coming down here, and I've kind of taken it away because I need to work out how much space we've got. Um, and I'm going to do that by probably doing the inside of the church first. So we'll probably somewhere at the end of the church we're going to have an altar, which means then walls are either going to be there I guess yeah um, so that's kind of going to be the end and it's night time already um, so if we have the same coming the other way because how much room does this give us does it give us enough room for some aisles well, let's go and have a look let's have a little sleep let's have a little sleep first of all uh, sleep the night away they're not there anything should be able to get us in here but um, right, I'm going to change these to wooden steps, but I just want to have a look first of all that if we have that there, we're probably going to want some pews coming down the church, and we'll probably want the same on the other side. So that's going to kind of going to come to there. But like I say we'll change change these around to wood, and I just want to try and get a layout first of all. Uh, so we need to come at least to there and at least to there just so we can get around those outsides although I guess we could bring it down there as well couldn't we make it a thinner one which I think would be better yeah I'm gonna go with that okay uh, get rid of that one because it gives us a bit more room so this is gonna be one end of the building and then this will come to the other end which I guess this will be the sort of entrance coming in almost maybe even one more there so we might have to extend out the back a little bit with what I've got planned um, and we may have to go in that way a little bit I'm not sure so uh, take those away from there so if that's the wall coming down we will then have an entrance here and kind of fits do we want it coming in? Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking we're coming in there. And it'll go as far as there. Because then if we want to use wood for the entrance and things like that, we could do. Or if we extend the bricks out. Because what we'll probably do is actually extend the entrance out a little bit. It will probably come to there. Yep, because churches tend to have that. And then what we then need to do, coming out this way. So we'll have to move this back a couple of blocks. Um... We kind of need to extend that out that way a little bit. Now let's see if this wall's coming down here. We then want exactly the same here as well, but this side will be sealed off. Yep. Okay, that's fine. And and then again, we'll go out this way, and we're going to make this probably more of a squarish feature, maybe, because um, I'm going to try and sort of keep it in a style of what what is a typical English church um, rather than anything so uh, an English church is always tended to have um, what you would say is if I go up here for example and eat and eat again so if we come up what you should typically have is a cross shape although that's quite fat in comparison to those bits so may have to extend those a little bit but the the thing is that is yeah it's there 
And then I actually have a tower at the back because um, many of the churches, certainly in the UK, uh, have a combination of either a, a, ch a sort of a, a tower with bells or so proper bell tower, or actually having um, a spire. So that's the other option we have uh, in the UK. We have a, a, a spire, uh, a bell tower. Um, so I'm going to go with a bell tower because that's the shape I want. So let me get some wood because um, we need to have a bit of wood here. Probably need to get some different types of woods as well because we'll have some some of this spruce for the seating and then probably a different sort of maybe an oak floor or something like that. I'm not sure. So let me get those foundations extended and we shall see how it looks. Well, I think our black sheep approves anyway. So, uh, yeah, I've got a basic layout done now, which I'm fairly happy with. Uh, what we'll probably do is move this back, but we'll probably swap it for some nice quartz. There we go, as, a, as an altar at the back there. Um, let's have a look. What we probably need here as well, have we got everything we need? No, let's just put down that there. And let's go and get a half slab. In fact, let's not have a half slab. Let's be a little bit more prestigious than that. And then that can be the font as as you come in. And yeah, a bit high for a font, but it might work. It might work. Um, okay, so uh, that's the kind of basic layout we want. What we need to do now is kind of work out... Um, I guess windows and that that sort of thing. Um, so at the front here we'll probably have a bigger window. So uh, it needs to be at least two, maybe four wide. So our stone bricks are going to come up to there. Um, is it going to start there or start higher? I don't know. Let's let's build it up and hungry again. Always hungry. Uh, trying to alternate the blocks a little bit as well if we can. Um, yeah, I think that would be alright there. Yeah, so we just need to build that up. That's fine. Um, and then the same is going to happen over this side. We'll have um, stones and then windows. We'll obviously have windows by these pews here. Um, let's see, how is this going to work out? So that definitely needs to be there. So yeah, if we put one there one there, one there. We can then take that one out and put a window in there and we'll go and sleep again. Oops. Oh, we'll open that chest up. It doesn't really matter. Either way. Very good. Okay. Um, yeah, kind of fits. I don't necessarily want the whole thing as windows going along there, um, but we usually have fairly narrow windows and we'll probably put some stained glass in these to... Uh, to make it look good and we'll probably at least need to go at least one higher again again I haven't worked out our, how high I actually want this um, let's just do that across there and see how that kind of looks I guess yeah I'm I think I'm happy with that I think that's a, a good height to to have um, so we can do the same here and across the top very good. And then this will probably... No, I'll think about that because we're going to have a roof here, an apex, so we might end up... Trouble is, if we have... Yeah, we're going to have trouble because we can't really do an arch shape. We'd be... It'd be nice to sort of, you know, put the steps in like that and make the shape of the window, but unfortunately the, uh, the stained glass won't go in it then, will it? So we might have to just stick with square windows for now, um, although I guess one option is to build it slightly higher on the inside. Let's do this and see how it looks. Uh, and again there. And then we'll work out where do we want it. So, yeah. Yeah, so we'll probably have something like that. I think that works. And then we just need to really sort of mirror the same as we got on the other side. 
Okay, so let me carry on with this and we shall get the rest of it all mapped out. Um, this side bit here again, not quite sure yet how how where I want windows etc. So I'm just going to sort of have a play around with it really and then uh, see where we get to. I've got all the walls done inside here now, so I think that's starting to look good. I've uh, changed this out to glowstone because I was thinking about lighting. Now we could put um, sort of torches on the walls and that sort of thing. And we may still do that, sort of, you know, just for aesthetics looking. But I was also planning on putting a red carpet down here anyway, which is going to come all the way to the altar down the middle. So... Um, yeah, that's going to cover it up anyway, isn't it? And then we'll probably go into here, and in here we'll probably just use some uh, white carpet. This is going to be really um, the sort of anti-room, if you like. So uh, we'll set something up in there, probably a, a chair and a desk or something somewhere anyway. So we'll work that out in a bit. So I'll need to get some more red carpet for there. And then some stained glass windows. So I was kind of thinking having the same colour throughout but the thing with stained glass windows they are lots of different colors so I figured we'd have different colors like so and maybe a yellow looks quite good very good and then we've got some red as well and probably white through the side bits for the side windows and then probably the main window we um, we may make that smaller than the large window. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll have a think about that. Um, yeah, the main window. I don't know whether it'll look good or not. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll try these things out. Uh, but we just make it multicolored, so we don't really care about uh, colors and all that kind of stuff. So we might make it. I don't know. Do we make it matching? Do we let our sort of does that look too much like something else? I don't know. Or do we just make it a really bizarre pattern? Or like this. Uh, white one in there. Just make it multicolored. I don't know. Um, yellow in there. Blue. We've not had a blue one down the bottom. Quite like that purple. Uh, should we have one in there? There we go. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Um, how you think we should do that uh, that window? Should we have it one, or should we just have it multicolored like that? Should it be patterned? I'm not quite sure. Not 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 really liking that a huge amount at the moment. So I'll have a think about that. Um, okay, and then we've just got the bell tower to do at the back there, but we'll work on that in a bit. This window, uh, I don't think it needs to be so grand. I don't know, but maybe it does because it's on the side. Maybe we'll just make this one a big red stained glass window. Yeah, um, very good. Okay, so that's kind of there. It's getting there. Let's just do that on there. So that kind of makes the path down as well. And we'll sort out the lighting outside. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Otherwise, I'm quite liking it. Okay, so what we need to do before we start working on the tower bit is the roof bit for here. So we're going to use a, an oak roof, and all we're going to do is basically bring this along, um, probably out one, and we're probably going to do it that way. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Get rid of those. Yeah, because then it will then just literally carry on in the same sort of manner and it will have that zigzag effect going up and coming back down again. And then the other side bits will have a sort of, um, yeah, we'll try and sort of uh, bring it out that way as well. Oops, not like that though. Oh, gosh. Can you just bring it out like that? No, we don't. But what we might do, because this is... I'm still not quite sure about this but we could um that be too low we did that and then a kind of not like that 
that's for sure. Where's my blocks with some grass? That's absolutely fine. Oh, don't hit it with an axe. That would probably help. So if we put that there, and then on the back of that one there, kind of make the roof over it, which will then mimic what's going over the top then. I just don't know if it's too low on here or not. Um, we shall see. We shall see. Let me get the rest of the uh, roof done anyway, and then um, I'm going to have to make a load of more of these uh, steps, that's for sure. Uh, although, only for so far. Yeah, but yeah, I'll have to make a load more up and we'll get the rest of this roof done. Well, I think I'm just about done here. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've been and got some podzel and kind of uh, mix that in amongst the... Um, uh, amongst the sort of the grass and this uh, dirt and the soul sand and I think it, uh, that's why I'm looking at night, I think it gives a nice sort of churchyard kind of look to it. So uh, I'm really pleased with that. I changed over that window to be still sort of stained glass but yeah, we, we kind of moved it. So um, yeah, I'm liking how it's looking. The only thing we've got at the moment is this is a kind of a danger zone for um mobs dropping in i've had um a couple of zombies come down and track from down there so i think once i get a um a few villagers inside there they're going to be attracted so that's something we'll have to uh have a look at uh but let me show you around so we've got this way back here to the entrance which uh, i think looks good uh also we've got the tower there at the back and then uh, around the back just goes around there but obviously these guys um, we need to get some more railings in there, so that's possibly a way they're getting over as well, so we'll sort that out. Um, and I've kind of hidden lighting around as well, so um, there is, let's get rid of that, yeah. So we've got glowstone underneath, um, and using birch leaves to sort of really kind of cover up and act as hedges and, yeah, disguise it all, and I think it all kind of uh, fits in. So we've got hardly any torches around here, just these on the buildings are the only ones we, we've got. The only thing I don't like is I can see two there. So uh, beyond that, uh, it's not too bad, so we might have to do something about that. Let's have a look inside. Um, here we go. So as I've mentioned, I'm going to have villagers in here. So because of that, I've got these gates as security so they can't get out, because I'm pretty sure villagers can't interact with those. It's only the doors. And if the zombie does get in and break the door down, it shouldn't get past there. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, please. Um, try to add little details like the steps above the doors. Um, and then I'll put these sort of supporting, almost as if they're coming out of pillars at the top there. Uh, which I quite like. So, uh, yeah, we've got some candles. Uh, obviously our altar at the, the front uh, of the church there. Um... And then we've got this little room, which I've made into sort of a nice little uh, desk area where the clergy come along and do their notes and so on and so forth. And then we've got a little cupboard back here. Just a few extra storage things, should we need them. Um, so that's there. And then we've got, let me just show you this. This is something uh, I thought I'd put in. Now, this is something quite rare. Um, most churches, you will not have a glass here. But my local church... Um, we've actually got a glass uh, viewing area and this is where the bells get rung from so the bell ringers would uh, pull on the ropes and you can see them from the church which is actually quite rare so um, I thought I'd put that in there just as a as a nice little feature to um, you know to my local church so which is good I've got a gate on here as well so this is my um, stop the villagers venturing any further up here because I wouldn't want that, uh, because they could fall off the roof. So we'll go up the winding spiral staircase all the way at the tower, uh, where we come out on the top. So, uh, yeah, and we get the magnificent views all across the countryside. And I said, this is the only area we need to do something about. Um, I'm not quite sure what yet, other than lighting up or fencing it off further on up and lighting it up. I don't know. So that's something 
we're going to have to tackle. We've got some overhangs there to sort of sort out as well. So a little bit more of this to take away, perhaps. Um, so it's not quite secure yet, but we haven't got the villagers moving in yet either. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's uh, that's turned out really well. So let me know what you think. I've got rid of these as well. Oh, and that was the other thing I didn't show you. I was going to show you in the tower there. If we just come in through here. This is my little uh, closet. Yeah, it's actually a bed and the furnaces and yeah, so on and so forth. It's just I thought I'd keep them here because you never know when you need these around the world. So it's a handy place to go and sleep. And I think what I'm going to do is actually, because I'm not using this chest, we'll take those. Um, I might put an ender chest in there. So uh, again, it's just somewhere that I've got an ender chest around the world. Um, otherwise, pretty good. I like it. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know if there's any suggestions as well, because if you think there's something we should add in here. Um, I did think about pillars, but we haven't really got a lot of room in here. It's not the biggest church in the world, but yeah, any suggestions, please do let me know. Well, there we have it, guys. The completed church and I think that looks pretty awesome even if I say so myself I have just added a little bit of um, coarse dirt so uh, which you can see in there so yeah there's a few areas around there and around there I've changed it for coarse dirt rather than being grass and again the gravestones uh, or the unused grave shall we say we've used coarse dirt as well so uh, hopefully that'll uh, that'll be good for that uh, and getting the attention of a few guys down there so we're gonna call that a day I think uh, end the episode there I've had a lot of fun building today um, and that's really what this area over here is going to be all about is building some more um, awesome builds to our town so let me know what else you think we should do we've got the blacksmiths in there and that sort of thing uh, we've got this uh, I've got a few other ideas but I'd love to hear from you guys as well let me know what you think we should be building over here in our little town so uh, otherwise I will say thanks very much for watching guys leave me a like if you've enjoyed it if you think it's an awesome church leave me a like leave me a comment uh, and help me get this video noticed that'll be truly wonderful and that'll be the best way you can show your appreciation for me so uh, yeah until next time we'll see you again soon thanks for watching and bye for now bye bye